as the helicopter comes back into view, I'd like to do a video on how to identify weak spots on your vehicles. I mean, practical experience and firing multiple shots of vehicles will generally show you how to do it. But there's a tool currently in the game, although, you know, it's not necessarily the greatest tool at this particular point, but it's certainly better than slinging rounds at a tank. So how do we go about that? Well, the first thing we need to do is we'll go back to the normal garage. Imagine you're just a new player in the game and you want to find out how to pen a particular vehicle that you're struggling with as you've been playing missions or in PvP. You just can't seem to get a grip on it. So if you've been meeting a particular type of vehicle but you don't own it, there is a way of getting it. So the easiest way to go and get access to that vehicle is to go to the vehicles. Now you don't necessarily have to have the money or the credits or even have unlocked it in order to look at the vehicle. So we will use the Macabre 3 Baz for example. Now I have it, it's unlocked, I own it. But if you don't, in order to bring that into your screen, you just have to right click on it and select Preview. That will then drop the Macabre 3 Baz into your screen. And there's our Macabre 3 Baz. It's got the type ammo on it because I have to purchase it. So this is a little bit different to how you would look at it. So that's the three bars. Now how do I find out where the weak spots are on the three bars? Well, using the armor calculator, which by previewing, it comes up with that shown to you in default. And there it is there. It's showing you a render mode, the model, which is that, in all its glorious color with the background in the garage. The armor calculator shows you the armor profile of that vehicle. And at the moment, you see the green and the red. The red, obviously, you can't pin. The green, obviously, you can. But you say to me, Oz, that's looking at it from the attacking vehicle perspective is another three bats. I'm not using the three bats. Well, I'm happy you asked me that. You click on the vehicle and you decide, okay, what am I attacking this vehicle with that I want to pin it? At the moment, it's looking into three bars. So let's see, say it's a tier eight, it's an MBT, and you're using the common MBT to attack it with, say, the T70, a T90A will be a good vehicle. So this is what you're attacking it with. So you select that, just close that screen, and now it shows you down there the T90A, and it shows you the basic ammunition for a T90A. You can then select whichever one. If you've unlocked the maximum penetration for the T90A, you can just scroll through it and find it, and there it is. That one will give you 720 of pen. Okay, so if I select that one, I can now look at it from whatever distance. For example, if this distance is 129, by default, normally it comes at 100 meters, and that, by scrolling around, will show you where you can pen it. And the lower plate, obviously, is very penable. Yeah, even at that angle, the lower the angle, the top half of the lower plate generally is very penable, with especially the 125. If he's angled a bit, you'll still be able to go through his sides. Generally, that will be normally, it says 100%. Mm, he may move at the last moment and do that, or he may wiggle, uh, he may turn his turret. In this particular instance, you can't isolate the turret from the vehicle. So you can't turn the turret and have the hull turned like you would do with the World of Tanks one and show side scraping and all that sort of stuff. Although side scraping is not always a viable option. But if you turn the side, you can see that rise of the raised bit on the engine deck. You can pin through there. The wings on the turret, you can pin through there. Okay, so that's how you can see it. If you were you're stumbling over my own tongue, if you wanted to use the heat rounds, you can throw on that profile there, and that'll show you where you can pen with heat. Nothing on the front. There's a little chance you might get through there at 22%, but if he's down-angled a bit, just running towards you on a downslope, you'll definitely get through where the side is. Okay, so that's the gunner side over there. The same again on the side. No very good until he turns more of a direct angle, and you've got really good shots there. 
side of the turret, and generally around the bottom of the bustle. No worries, all the way around the rear and the sides again to the front. So that's how you can identify where you are shooting or what ammunition and what vehicle. Again, if you're planning on taking a vehicle into a battle or you've been using one, then you can come here and have a look at where you could potentially shoot a vehicle. Doesn't always guarantee that it's going to work out the way you want. Now, I've got a bit of footage I'll show you in a second, but it involves a Type 99A2. So we will go back to the vehicles. We will go to the uh, Type 99A2. And there it is there. So we'll select the Type 99A2. Oop, I did it wrong. Okay, so we'll go back again. I've got the Type 99A2. I'll go preview the Type 99A2. And then I'll go to the armor calculator. Now, I, the vehicle I'm using to have trouble with this, obviously it's my tier 10, it's the Challenger ATDU, and that shows me using my best AP 720, 760, that I can, in all likelihood, just below the gun and the lower plate, a fairly good chance, but not a guaranteed chance. Now, here's where there is a weakness in this particular view of the armor. Um, Calculator. It does not allow you to tilt the vehicle up, so I cannot look at the belly, which would be guaranteed to be pinned. I can tilt it down as if I'm looking above, and that doesn't always work out well for you as well, because even at that angle, I should be able to shoot down on it. But generally, in game, it doesn't always work out well for you. But it needs to not only allow you to tilt it like that, so as the nose is down, but so also so as the nose is up, and you can see more. The higher you tilt it, this would become should become more green because it becomes a bit flatter. But it doesn't, and it doesn't look like it here. So it stays yellow. But I know for a fact the belly, you'll definitely be able to pen it. If it's just that bit on the side, very difficult to pen, even using the 120, uh, the question of 140. So this is my issue with this vehicle. I've got a slither of hope to get the turret ring. Okay, and that'll take out the turret ring and the breech. There's a little bit to the side, gets a bit better the more he turns. Okay, and the turret ring obviously precluded by the driver's hatch. He's locking it out, so I can't get anywhere there. A little bit further around. These are the thinnest particular portions of the tank to see. It's not a lot to see. So that's my issue, and I'm using a 140mm. Okay, 140mm penetrator. And I'm trying to pen this vehicle. You'll see that in the following clip. Note the vehicle is side on, and I get good shots in him there at that angle. He's front on, he tilts up, I can see the green for a second, and as he drops back, I've got the yellow, I fire at him, but 44% I don't get a pen. Cutting to a game footage, this shows you where I had trouble against the Type 99A2 and some of my issues with using the armor calculator. Booty has died. He's watching on my shoulder, trying to kill the ATDU. The Macabre takes him out. I know the 99A2 is over here. There he is in the side. Easy shot. No worries. So he's coming forward. Still got the side shot. Yes. And then he starts to turn. And I lose my shot. Waiting. He drops back. Got a green. And his lower plate was yellow. But I didn't pin. So it was marginal. Make a mistake here. I push up too high. Lost my gun depression, copper hit for it. That was stupid. Okay, he's nose on, looking for that. I saw that weak spot for only a second, then I noticed he was turning. I was about to shoot, but I shot him in the side. Again, there he is, nose on. No, and I'm not going to reload in time. He's gone behind it, side on again, easy shot, and I've killed him. But it's the front on ones that are very annoying. Now facing Whoa. some more, but you could Bloody see for a now. moment Bloody there, I had a green shot under his gun, and then I lost it. So it was no good to me. Now we head back to the armor calculator to see how I can use that to establish what I could or couldn't shoot at. When I'm looking here, I cannot find the turret ring, but the chances of getting a pen are pretty slim. It does work sometimes, but it's still slim. Okay, the other thing you can look at with this is the armor <coughs> map, and that shows you how the armor's laid out on the vehicle. 
You can turn off the cage stuff. It takes it away and it shows you where all the armor is on the vehicle. It also allows you to look at the particular armor profile. There's the standard armor. It's composite. It tells you the bit down the bottom how it uh, will protect against heat ammunition, etc., etc. But the one you want to play around with the most is potentially this one, the armor calculator. So once again, if you do not own a vehicle, but you're struggling to print it, it pen it with your particular vehicle. One, go to the vehicles. Once you've found the vehicle you want to look at, pick any vehicle you want, XM1A3, right click on it, select preview. It'll drop into your window showing you, and you don't have to own it, showing you the render mode. Pick your armor calculator. Once you've got that up, then you go to here and you pick the vehicle that you're intending to shoot at it with. You don't have to use a tank. You can pick on a TD. In this particular case, you can pick another a tier 9, for example. You can go the Terminator, and then you can have a look at how well the missiles on the Terminator will pen the XM1A3. So we we'll go to the heat. This is the thermobaric. Thermobaric's very effective on the upper plate, not so much on the lower plate. You've got a chance of doing some damage, but you know. Then you go with the ATGM with the uh, tandem warhead. Generally get it shattered against here. I'm not so sure the shattering is quite um, true, but I think you'll find it would initiate but not have the ability to burn through. Again, you can see round the driver's hatch, the bottom edge of the turret. Correction, the gun, that's quite a good one. Round the commander's cupola is not a bad one. On the thin edges of this armor spacer on the turret potential, on the sides, gets a little bit more difficult till it gets further around. Okay, now the cannon. Some people say the cannon's not very effective. Well, this is 155 millimeter of pin. The normal AP is only 140, so we'll go with this one. If we turn the vehicle on the side, you'll notice you can quite clearly pin the sides in the engine deck, and that'll work really well. You have to aim low. Blazing away with the cannon, though, is not a good thing to do because you get so many rounds because the cannon has um, the recoil movement in the buffer and uh, the slap against the buffer and the, what holds the cannon in. You get a whole bunch of jumping. So if you can just fire a few rounds, press it, fire a few rounds, press it, fire a few rounds, you'll find it more effective. But you can generally mess them up around there. Of course, you go to the rear of the tank, the back of the turret, and everything's full on with your AP rounds. So AP on the Terminator is still very effective for a tier 9 on the 1A3. Obviously, if you catch him on the side slope, very effective on the engine deck and the front and a fair bit around the turret. Okay, if we go back here, we might want to take the tier 10 TD, uh, and we don't know why. Oh, yes, mine's reserved. We'll go to the T15, and again, we're looking at the AP has got 155, the HE's 10. Well, the HE on the used to be quite good, especially around the rear, and you'd really hang them around the rear of a tank, but now it's turned into the HE's useless because it's only got 10mm pen. But it used to mess up modules and everything quite nicely, especially on tanks. Like looking down on the engine deck, those two spots, HE would be fine, but that's just kind of ridiculous. HE should still do damage against the back of a tank. Anyhow, we'll go with the AP. 155 pen messes them up quite nicely. Same again as the Terminator, a little bit round there, but you can blaze away quite clearly on the sides. A little bit on the front, around the commander's hatch, but that's not as terribly effective, but that's it. And again, if you go to your missiles, you've got the tandem head missile 1200, and you've got the thermobaric, which is a 900. If we go for this one, aim it at the front, and you can see quite clearly, you can pin on the top of the turret, right in the top of the plate there, and at the forward edge. So the missiles really mess you up from a T-15. So this is the easiest way to find out how to identify the weak spots on your vehicle using the in-game tools. Still lacks a couple of 
capabilities, move the turret separate to the hull, um, showing you bits and pieces for the bottom so you can angle the vehicle up so as you can see underneath and get certain positions where you might shoot. But again, having a look at the little bit of footage that I show you in there with my issues that I'm still struggling with a 99A2 and I'm firing a 140mm AP at it. I hope this um, is of some use to you.